We're live here at Quelt in South Kansas Avenue, south end of downtown Topeka, where we've had a two-vehicle collision here today. We have a semi-trailer here that is jackknifed. It appears that it's gone up and over the median here in the 100 block of Southeast 12. And then there's a gold-covered, colored uh, Chevrolet uh, pickup truck. I believe they're sitting here uh, completely damaged. Uh, amazing uh, the amount of damage on here. We're told there's no report of serious injuries at this point. We're thankful for that. But again, this crash occurring about 12.50 p.m. Monday here at 12th and South Kansas Avenue at the south end of downtown Topeka. Again, there's a familiar water tower that will show you exactly where we are if I'm looking to the northeast right now. We don't know the details of this crash at this point. We'll be getting some information to you very shortly on CJ Online. But again, we have this gold pickup truck severely damaged on its driver's side. You can see part of it right here. We'll kind of get a little different vantage point. And obviously, there's a lot of debris here strewn across this whole area. And we see that behind here, the pickup truck that has come to rest with the cab portion facing west to the body of this facing north and the east here in the westbound lanes of 12th Street. So this will show you right where we are here. Again, there's the damage to this pickup truck. Very severe damage here. Again, we have not been told of any serious injuries, but we'll be getting some information here in short order from the Topeka Police Department here on the scene. Topeka Fires here, as is the American Medical Response Ambulance. You see up ahead here that 12th Street is being blocked off the westbound traffic here at Quincy, a block to the east here of where this happened. And I believe traffic is also blocked on 12th Street, a block to the west there at Jackson. You might see back behind you. So I'm looking back to the west. Hope everyone is okay. Someone says that's my dad. Hopefully he's okay. I have no clue as to whether anyone was injured. I have not heard of any injuries, but I don't know that, that for sure. So I'm waiting to talk to someone. Hopefully we'll know something very soon. I'm hoping and praying everybody here is okay. It's a bad looking accident, the crash here. And again, hopefully uh, everybody got through it without any injuries. So crews are busily cleaning this mess up. You can see where the semi here has gone over this median that divides eastbound, westbound traffic in the 100 block south is 12. And again, we're just to the immediate south of the water tower here, familiar landmark just off I-70 downtown Topeka, the south end of downtown Topeka. Just kind of show you what's going on here for a couple minutes. Not sure if we'll be able to get a hold of anybody to tell us what happened or not. If we can, we will bring them online here shortly. If not, we'll sign off and make sure you check tjonline.com when you get a few minutes. Did anyone see what happened? Or? Check to see if anybody see, had seen what happened. I know there's some people standing around here. And How's it going? Fine. Any, any, nobody has seen anything, no witnesses per se? Or? Uh, that's what we're working on. Okay. I haven't found okay. exactly yet. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Talking to an officer here. We're still waiting to try to find some witnesses here at the scene. There's Officer Brian Bean here walking over here. Trying to keep it here. A lot of people are standing by. Not really sure what happened here. It's hard to always tell the direction of travel in a situation like this. You think you can tell by looking at where they ended up, and that's not always the direction they were traveling at the time. So we'll not speculate on that. We'll wait to hear from the police here when they find out what happened. But one thing we can tell you is right now this gold four-door pickup truck is facing to the east, just through the crosswalk here on 12th Street. Kansas Avenue, 12th Street and Kansas Avenue, facing to the east here. At the very far south end of downtown, there's again downtown Kansas Avenue right there to my north, if I'm looking that way, McDonald's, of course, the water tower just off I 70 downtown Topeka. Looks 
got some police officers here who've got some word, but we were going to wait to begin here directly from one of them here momentarily to tell us exactly what happened. So. You didn't see what happened, did you? Yeah. No, I heard it. It was loud. It was? Okay. Then I live in that apartment building. They sure did a good It did, really? Yeah. You got to put you on the Facebook Live real quick, what you heard? Okay, this gentleman here lives, and that's Jackson Towers. Right. This gentleman right here lives in Jackson Towers. What what happened a few minutes ago? A big old boom went off and shook the whole ground. And then we come out with a big old wreck. And the, the semi uh, right there, that's that's probably where most of the noise came from, I would guess, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, because it was pretty loud. It shook the whole ground when, it, when, it, when you heard it happen. When you heard the noise, you didn't know what happened. Did then you, you look out and then you can see what happened. Did you yeah. come running out the apartment to run over here to see what happened? Oh, yeah, I just came out to see what was going on. Did yeah. anybody, was there any injuries that you saw? Or? Nothing I know of. Okay, I didn't see, I haven't heard of any either, so that's a miracle right there, isn't it? Yes, it is. I don't know what exactly happened. We'll wait for the police.